Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a continuation of the exercise of the chapter integer. If you want, you can go and check the previous videos of the chapter integer where I've explained the basic concepts of the chapter integer and the parts of the exercise of the chapter integer. So in today's video, we'll first learn absolute value. So first of all, what is called the absolute value? Absolute value is the distance of that integer from 0 on the number line irrespective of the direction either right or left. So basically absolute value is a value which can be determined by observing the distance of any particular given integer from 0 on the number line no matter whatever the direction of the integer is, whether it is on the left side of the 0 or whether it is on the right side of the 0. So absolute value is the distance, distance of any given integer from 0 on the number line. So to indicate the absolute value of an integer, the integer is represented with vertical bars like this. Okay, Two standing lines will be there and inside that you have to write down the integer. Okay. So basically, these vertical bars are the sign, are the signs of absolute value. Okay, so these vertical bars are the signs of absolute value. The absolute value of an integer is always positive. Okay, irrespective of its sign, whether it is a positive integer or negative integer. Okay, the absolute value of that particular integer will be always positive. Next is since the integer zero is neither positive nor negative. So the absolute value of 0 is 0. So let's understand the absolute value with the help of the number line. Now this is the number line. At the center of the number line there will be 0. In the previous videos we have already learned how to draw the number line. If you want you can go and check the previous videos of the chapter integer. Okay. So on the number line at the center will be having 0. Okay, and on the right hand side of 0, there will be the positive integers. Okay, and on the left hand side of the 0, there will be the negative integers. And to differentiate the negative integers from the positive integers, we have to use the minus sign before each and every negative integer. Okay, now on the both sides, okay, on both sides of the number line, we will have to give two arrows, two side arrows, that is one right arrow and other one is left arrow. Why we have to give this? To show that the numbers are endless on both the sides. Okay, Whether the positive integers or the negative integers. Integers or numbers are endless. Now let's say we have to find out the absolute value of integer 5. That is positive. Okay, So now 5 is on the right hand side of 0. Okay, so the, As it is a positive integer. So we have to find out the absolute value of 5. So absolute value means? the distance of the integer of the given integer from 0 on the number line. That is the absolute value. So what will be the distance from 0 to 5? 5 is the given integer. So what will be the distance? 0 to 1 that is 1 unit. 1 to 2 that is 2 unit. 2 to 3, 3 units. 3 to 4, 4 units. And 4 to 5, 5 units. Okay. So 5 units or 5 is the absolute value of the given integer 5. That means the absolute value is also positive. Now, another example, suppose minus 3, okay, minus 3, we have to find out the absolute value of minus 3. Minus 3 also is an integer but is a negative integer, okay. It is on the left hand side, left hand side of 0, okay. So, what is the absolute value? Absolute value is the distance of the given integer from 0, so, okay, 0 to minus 1, 1 unit minus 1 to minus 2, 2 units, minus 2 to minus 3, 3 units. So, what is the absolute value of minus 3? That is 3. That means, absolute value is the distance of the given integer from 0 and also absolute value is always a positive integer. Okay, No matter whatever the position of the integer is, whether it is on the right hand side or whether it is on the left hand side, whether it is a positive integer or a negative integer. Absolute value will be always positive. Okay. Now let's solve some problems regarding absolute value. 
write the absolute values of the following integers question number a 80 so we have to find out the absolute value of 80 so you have to put the vertical bars and between that you have to write down the given integer that is 80 okay this is the sign of absolute value now absolute value means distance of the given integer from 0 that will be 80 units okay so that is 80 now minus 100 just give the bars vertical bars and write down the given integer minus 100 so minus absolute value of minus 100 is the distance of minus 100 from 0 that will be 100 units so write down 100 units so whether the integer a given integer is positive or negative the absolute value will be positive always similarly question number c minus 4 that would be that would be 4 units absolute value 10 absolute value of 10 that is also 10 units okay minus 105 that is 105 okay absolute value of 95 that is 95 then absolute value of minus 82 that will be 82 okay go to the next set of questions that is add the following integers using the rules of additions okay so here we have to add add the given integers so question number a minus 15 plus 6 okay so here just write down again minus 15 plus 16 without changing any position of the integers now in the previous video we have already learned that minus plus is always minus okay so that means we have to subtract here okay so minus 15 plus 6 that is minus plus always it would be minus that means we have to subtract so from 15 we have to subtract 6 so the answer would be 9 now here whenever we are doing addition or subtraction we have to remember one thing that whenever we are writing down the answer you have to just observe that what is the sign of the bigger number so here the bigger number is 15 and before the bigger number there is a minus sign so whenever in doing the addition and subtraction of the integer we have to consider the bigger numbers sign in the answer so here what is the bigger number 15 is the bigger number so we have to consider the bigger number that is 15 bigger numbers sign as the sign of the answer so what is the sign of 15 that is minus so we have to consider minus sign in answer so the answer would be minus 9 okay next question number b minus 23 plus within a bracket minus 11 so now we have to remove the bracket so for that what we have to do just write down minus 23 plus minus minus 11 okay plus minus always minus so minus 11 okay so we have removed the bracket now here now here you can see that minus minus okay minus minus it would be plus so minus minus plus means you have to do the addition here so 23 plus 11 answer would be 34 but I have already explained that whenever you are doing the addition and subtraction of integer you have to remember that whatever the bigger number sign is you have to consider that so what is the bigger number 23 is the bigger number and what is the sign of 23 that is minus so you have to consider the bigger number sign in the answer okay so minus 34 is the answer next question number c 250 plus within a bracket minus 151 so first of all we have to remove the bracket so 250 plus minus minus 151 so here before 250 there is nothing that means this is a positive integer there is a plus sign so plus minus always it would be minus okay so that means we have to subtract here we have so what we have to do we have to do the subtraction so if we subtract 151 from 250 we will get 99 as the answer now what will be the sign of the answer we have to consider the bigger number sign as the sign of the answer okay so what is the bigger number 250 and what is the sign of 250 that is plus nothing is there that means here it is plus sign so we have to consider the bigger number sign as the sign of the answer so here it is you can see that before 99 nothing is there that means it is a positive integer that means here we are considering plus sign move on to the next question question number d minus 105 plus 98 just write down again minus 105 plus 98 so here minus plus minus plus always minus that means we have to do the subtraction so from 105 you have to subtract 98 okay minus plus always minus so you have to do the subtraction so from 105 you have to subtract 98 so the difference would be 7 now consider the sign what is the bigger number 105 is the 
bigger number and what is the sign of 105 minus so you have to consider bigger number sign as the sign of the answer question number e minus 2005 plus 1008 okay just write down again minus 2005 plus 1008 now minus plus always minus that means we have to do the subtraction so, so if we subtract 1008 from 2005 we will get 997 as the answer now consider the sign what is the bigger number bigger number is 2005 okay so what is the sign of 2005 that is minus so you have to consider the bigger number sign as the sign of answer now next is question f minus 3102 plus 1001 so write down again minus 3102 plus 1001 now minus plus minus that means you have to do the subtraction here so from 3102 you have to subtract 1001 so the answer would be 2101 now let's consider the sign the bigger number which is the bigger number bigger number is 3102 and what is the sign of bigger number that is minus so you have to consider the bigger number sign as the sign of the answer so minus 2101 is the answer next question number g 525 plus 106 so write down again 525 plus 106 now here nothing is there before 5 to 5 that means it is a positive integer plus sign so plus plus always plus that means you have to do the addition here so if we add 5 to 5 to 106 the answer would be 631 now consider the sign which is the bigger number bigger number is 5 to 5 okay and before bigger number there is a plus sign okay so it would be the sign of the answer also so there is nothing before 631 that means is, this is also a positive integer question number h 408 plus within a bracket minus 304 so first of all we have to remove the bracket so 408 plus minus minus 304 so nothing is there before 408 that means this is plus so plus minus always minus plus minus always minus that means we have to do the subtraction here so if we subtract 304 from 408 what we will get as answer we will get 104 as answer okay now let's consider the sign of the answer which is the bigger number 408 is the bigger number and what is the sign of 408 that is that is plus sign that is plus sign so plus sign would be the sign of the answer okay so nothing is there before 104 that means plus sign is there that means 104 is a positive integer so 104 is the answer so that's it for today in the next video we will also continue doing the exercise part of the chapter integer so see you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye and thank you for watching.